If you're dealing with a debt collector and you've done any research, you may discover that there's a federal law called the FDCPA, or Fair Debt Collection Practices Act. And so the question that often comes up, or should come up, is, okay, when does this apply? When does it not apply? Because it does not apply to every debt collector, and it does not apply to every debt that's being collected. So here are the basic requirements. The FDCPA applies when you're a consumer. It may sound silly, but sometimes we get calls saying, hey, I've got a partnership or I've got a corporation, we're being harassed by a debt collector. Well, a corporation, a partnership, a non-human does not count as a consumer. So you have to be a human being, you have to be a consumer. And then it has to be consumer debt or personal debt. And it, it gets a little complicated sometimes, but here's the basic gist. Was this debt used in your work or your business? If it was, then we need to look at it very carefully because it may be that that does not count as the type of debt that's covered under the FDCPA. But if you say, well, look, I used it for medical bills, for trips, for groceries, for clothes, for entertainment, then normally that's going to be quote, consumer debt. And then we're looking at a debt collector. Well, what's a debt collector? Well, a debt collector has a specific legal meaning. Now, we use that term really to describe collection law firms, collection agencies, debt buyers, people who buy up debt. It also applies to mortgage companies in the right circumstance. So what tells us if it's a debt collector under the FDCPA is, when that debt collector got the loan, so let me illustrate like this. Imagine this is the debt. When that person or that entity that we wonder, are they a debt collector? We look at the first time they got their hands on that debt. Was the debt in default? So what does that mean, default? Well, normally the contract will tell us if you file bankruptcy, it's in default. If you don't make the payment on the exact due date, that's default. So the person that wrote the contract that now this debt collector is collecting for or they have bought this debt, they tell us in there, what is a default? And normally it's when you don't make the payment on the exact due date. So if a company buys your debt, it could be a mortgage, credit card, car loan, I don't care what it is, and if that's consumer debt, and when they buy it, you were late, you were not completely current, then normally that company will be considered a debt collector. So we've sued Bank of America as a debt collector, Wells Fargo as a debt collector, Capital One can be a debt collector, they bought up a bunch of debt. Uh, we've sued GE Money Bank before as being a debt collector for various reasons. So there are all these different companies, you might not think of them as a debt collector, but if you just keep in mind that pretty simple rule, and I'm not getting into all the exceptions to the exceptions, but when that company got the debt, was it in default? Were you late? And if so, the FDCPA probably applies. And we'll talk in other videos about the great benefits of the FDCPA, but I wanted in this video to give you just a nice overview of you gotta be a consumer, a human, you gotta be consumer or personal debt and we have to be dealing with a debt collector. So my name is John Watts. I'm a consumer protection attorney in Alabama, and I hope this, this has been helpful to you. If you have questions about this, give my office a call, 205-879-2447, or you can contact us through our website, alabamaconsumer.com. Thank you.